Here's another example of the multiplication rule, an at least one component. And remember, we've talked about these before. Anytime you have an at least one question, it's always easier to figure out uh, the other probability and do one minus it, right? Because when they talk about at least one radio is working, then that means when you've got two radios, right? Either radio A is working, right? So you can think of cases. Case one would be, uh, you know, A is good, and then uh, radio B is bad. Case two, you'd have to figure out the probability that A is bad and B is good. And then case three, you'd have to figure out the probability that they're both working, right? Because those all satisfy at least one working radio. And then the only case that's left is both of them are bad. Both of them fail. And it's going to be a lot easier to figure out this probability and then these, which are what we're looking for, instead of figuring all those out and adding them together, they're just going to be 1 minus this probability down here that we calculate. So let's do that instead, because this is really easy. We just have two radios, so we have two dashes, and they both have to fail, right? And if the probability of a radio failure is this, then it's literally just that number twice, right? Because they both fail. We always multiply our dashes, so all we have to do is multiply those two numbers together, and we get 0 .00000, 000 1156. So remember, that's this probability, but we want the probability that at least one of them works so it's going to be 1 minus that. So we're going to do 1 minus 0 0.00001156. And that's going to equal 0 0.9998. And that's it. Now, the next question they ask is, why does the usual rounding rule of three significant digits not work here? Because for this question, they wanted us to round to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We would have rounded to here. And the fours, right, wouldn't have changed anything. And this would have been our answer to six significant digits. The reason why we can't, um, so I'll highlight the screen so we know this is, the reason why we can't do this, why we can't round to three, is if we round to three, we look here, and it makes us round up, and we would actually get a probability of 1, which is wrong, right? I mean, a probability of 1 tells us that the, the thing is guaranteed to happen, which means we're guaranteed to have at least one working radio. And that's not true. There is a very, very small chance that both radios will fail, and the chance that at least one of them works is very, very high, and it's really close to one, but it's not actually equal to one, and that's the big difference is there's a huge difference between 0 0.99999 and 1, because 0 0.99999 says there's still a chance that you know something else will happen. A probability of 1 means there's no other chance. It's guaranteed. This thing is guaranteed to happen. Okay, uh, so remember, dash technique simply multiply your dashes number of dashes for how many things you're dealing with in this case two radios so two dashes whenever we have an at least one question it's always easier to do one minus the opposite and the opposite of at least one thing happening is none of those things happening so the opposite of at least one working radio is none of the radios are working and so both of the radios fail so we have to use the probability for failure. Just keep that in mind because they could have given uh, us the probability that the radio worked, and then we would have to use the opposite, right? Because we had to figure out the probability they both failed. Drawing pictures like this to help you kind of visualize what's happening would help you catch those mistakes, and you would see, oh, wait, no, I'm not figuring out the probability that they both work. I'm figuring out the probability that they both fail, okay? And then it's just simply one minus that, and then round to the appropriate decimal.